Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you like me? You're on a tight budget and you need a workstation? I've got some options for you guys. I think you're going to like this one. So in my case, I have a need to get a workstation and a little office set up in my garage, um, mainly because it's pretty noisy in my house and I do work remotely sometimes and also like to make videos and things like that. That's why I get up so early. Uh, amongst other reasons, but it's really my opportunity to have a little bit of peace and quiet so that I can uh, knock out some videos and concentrate on work and things like that before the kids and the wife get up and it gets pretty noisy in here. So in my case, I just need a, a functional desktop where I can have multiple monitors out in my garage. So I did try to set this up with a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 that I have. I have multiple Raspberry Pis laying around and it worked. I'm throwing up air quotes right now. I know you can't see that, but it did work on triple monitors, but it was not very practical and not ideal. Um, it got a little sluggish at times, and yes, I was running Raspbian. I've got the 4 gig um, Pi 4. So it was functional, but it just wasn't practical. Uh, I think it was a cool project to get it up and going and have triple monitors and be able to RDP into my Windows workstation. I've got RDP wrap, so I can do that without... Uh, interrupting my wife when she's doing her photography stuff and her editing here on the uh, office PC in the house. So like I said, it was cool, but it just wasn't going to be sustainable long term. I'd get frustrated when things are lagging and I had to, you know, use workarounds to get RDP working the way I wanted to and things like that. So I almost, I literally almost decided to build a new rig for the garage. And while that would have been a lot of fun, <laughs> I was searching all over the internet for good prices on uh, CPUs and GPUs and cases, you know, like you do when you build a rig. I'll probably make another video about that because I actually found some pretty good information after scouring Reddit and YouTube and everything, how you could uh, piece together a pretty powerful build with some secondhand parts, um, some new parts. Yeah, that's not this video though, but maybe I'll put together another one if you guys are interested in that. However, kept doing a lot of research and I found a lot of people in the community are looking into these secondhand mini desktops. So on the left hand side here guys, we have for $60 an HP Elite Desk Mini i5, 8 gigs of RAM, 320 gig SSD with a licensed copy of Windows 11 Pro. And this comes with the power cord and everything guys, this is ready to go. And on the right hand side, we've got a Pi 5, and I'm not knocking the Raspberry Pi. I'm a huge Raspberry Pi fan. I've got four of them, or is it five? I've got four or five of them. <laughs> I've built them out with touchscreens, built robots out of them, uh, retro arcades, all kinds of projects. I love Raspberry Pis. I think they're very cool, and they definitely have their uh, place in the world and, and probably a place in your um, slew of projects if you're a geek like me. So I'm not putting this down. If you have a Pi, that's awesome. Like I said, I've got a bunch of them. However, in my case, where I need a workstation that can handle, you know, average workload, um, this is a better fit, and it's a better price. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I know this one says out of stock now. There were like 50 of them. I did get one, but there's a whole lot of options when it comes to this stuff, guys. You can get a Dell, you can get a Lenovo, you can get an HP, you know, there's other brands out there, but for well under $100, you can get 8, I've even seen them with 16, there's one up here with 16 uh, gigs of RAM, DDR4 in a lot of these, or DDR3 or 4, either way, that's going to be fast enough for most of the stuff you're doing in a home office, small office. Um, you, I've seen these with a terabyte of uh, disk space SSD. Again, this one right here says one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, Windows 10 Pro. But just look around. I mean, search the secondhand mini PC, mini desktop um, market, eBay. Uh, you can find them on all kinds of different stores. Even I think Walmart.com has a bunch of these now. They're out there, guys. Because what happens is these massive companies, they'll buy tens of thousands of these. I'm talking about big companies, right? They'll buy 10,000, let's just say. You know, there's a company with 10,000 offices. They buy 10,000 of these things, and then every three to five years, they refresh. So what happens? All these come out, and they hit the secondary market dirt cheap. So if you were to buy one of these at a brand new uh, price, 
obviously this isn't the same as the used one but when the used one was new this is probably the price range you're looking in that thousand dollar eight hundred to twelve hundred dollar range for one of these mini PCs a thousand versus sixty why not that's that for me it's an easy no-brainer right um, I wouldn't buy a brand new PC for a thousand dollars anyway I would build one but still if I built one it's gonna cost me several hundred dollars to put something together and knowing me, when I start building things, I'm like, well, for $50 more, I could get this and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I tend to, to go on the beefier side, <laughs> but that's fun. But it wasn't in the budget right now, and it didn't make sense to do that because I already have a, a nice rig in here. I've got a Ryzen 7, 7700X. I can go on about that, 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a tank. So I don't need another one of those. I just need something where I can work out in my garage, connect to my uh, work environment, when I'm working from home and then I can also use it to connect into this rig if I ever need some beefy horsepower for any reason uh, so this was a great choice and it made sense to me I really wanted to share this with you guys because if you're not um, super savvy with tech and maybe it's not you maybe it's a family member right a grandma a grandpa a mom a dad maybe your nieces nephews they need a new computer they need an additional computer for whatever reason a lot of times folks will go out to Best Buy or whatever store and you will get talked into buying, you know, a five to a thousand, five hundred to a thousand dollar computer for absolutely no good reason. Um, they're going to tell you you need it, even though you explain your workload and it's it's nothing crazy. You're not a professional videographer, or photographer. You're not, you know, editing crazy amounts of content and you're not a super uh, PC gamer because obviously those are the things that are going to kind of eliminate this from your uh, what will suit your needs if you're a, a new PC gamer and you're playing the latest and greatest games you're gonna need a GPU uh, this doesn't have a, a beefy GPU anything like that so that's not gonna fit that use case but for most use cases whether you're you know you have a small office home office you're in school something like this is gonna be perfectly fine guys I mean the, the i5 with 8 gigs and 320 gigs of space it's going to get the job done for most use cases. And for $60, guys, think about that, $60. Go to Best Buy. You're not going to find anything under anything that's usable for under five or $600, right? So share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Um, again, it pisses me off when I see people go into places like Best Buy, especially for computer repair. I did a video about password unlock, password recess, things like that. Um, that type of stuff will cost you a couple hundred bucks and you could do it for free right and this is kind of a, a similar uh, video here you can go into Best Buy and buy a $600 computer or you can go on eBay and get one for 60 bucks guys like come on this, to me it's a no-brainer and, and like I said it comes with a licensed copy of Windows um, yeah so I had to share this because this is what I went with uh, and when I do get it I'm gonna make a video I'll take it apart clean it out it is secondhand so it may not come in the best shape but it's guaranteed to be it's guaranteed to be fully functional and working and things like that um, so if it's DOA then obviously I send it back but the seller had really good ratings and he had a whole bunch of them so I think I'm gonna have good luck with it but I'm gonna let you guys know when it gets here uh, we'll do a quick video like I said taking it apart cleaning it out We'll look at the board, we'll look at the uh, hard drive, we'll look at the RAM, and yeah, we'll do a video of my, my garage office, and I'll give you guys a little mini tour once I get it all set up. But like I said, share this video and share this information with your friends and family, guys, because I think this could really save a lot of people a lot of money. And like I mentioned, this one says it's out of stock, but there are a ton of these just on eBay alone. They're on other stores too, but just on eBay alone, search for mini um, secondhand mini PCs or mini desktops. I would probably stick to the the big name brands, the HPs, the Lenovo's, maybe even the Dell's. Um, that's up to you though. If you know of other brands you like, go for it. But these are the ones that are sold in mass quantities, and they just hit the market, like I said, because of re refresh cycles. There's nothing wrong with these in a lot of cases, and you can't beat the price. You're getting a, a licensed copy of Windows 11. Windows 11 isn't going anywhere for a long time. So this is already going to future proof you for the next five to ten years. And yeah, you're going to save a ton of money. So drop me a thanks in the comment. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, please do, guys. I, I am passionate about people not getting ripped off when it comes to technology just because I know technology like that and I know how people get ripped off. So get this out there. Share this video. Give me a thumbs up. 
please hit subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm trying to get to 10K this year, doing pretty good. With your guys' help, we'll get there for sure. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Have you bought one of these uh, secondhand mini PCs? If you did, what was your experience? What did you use it for? Uh, did you decide not to go with it? Maybe you needed more resources. What did you do in that case? Let me know either way, guys. And if you have a pie, I'm always interested in hearing what you're doing with your Raspberry Pi. So drop that in the comments as well, guys. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Until the next one, take care.